Good morning, Internet. Yep, still barely morning. Um, no cats this morning. Um, my cats are currently adorably sleeping on my computer chair. Don't really want to move them. Today is Saturday, uh, April 6th. So, day six of my attempt of vlogging every day in April. I think this might be about five days longer than I expected to be able to go. Um, this morning's topic is brought to you by a suggestion. I, it was suggested that I talk about childhood dreams. Not quite my normal subject, not really gaming, not really computers. Well, actually it is. So, when I was growing up, I had a few dream careers, so to speak, uh, depending on the age that I happened to have been at the time. I remember back when I wanted to be the manager of the Boston Red Sox, for instance. Um, for those of you not inside of the U.S., the Boston Red Sox are one of the two more famous baseball teams in the United States. I don't really like baseball anymore, but I did back then. I also wanted to be a computer game designer and computer game programmer. There was something else. Oh yes, I will get to that in a moment. So, growing up... Things were interesting when it came to my ideas. I have a very vivid imagination. It's probably one of the reasons why I can run role-playing games so well. All I have to do is, um, if you've ever seen the children's TV show Bobby's World, that's kind of the way my imagination works. Somebody says something, I mishear it, and then just start going off on a daydream and don't stop for like three hours. It actually still happens today. Maybe not as often as it used to, but I still have quite the imagination. In any case, I pictured myself being a computer game designer. And in my mind, the best way of doing that was learning programming. I actually started teaching myself how to program when I was five. Now, keep in mind, I'm nearly 30 years old, so back in 1988, teaching yourself how to program is cracking open a manual and teach yourself basic. Yeah. When I was five. Can't really say my programming was all that great. It was probably would cause me to scratch my eyeballs out for level of quality of code now, but well, that's what I thought game designers had to do. Back then, game designers were also typically the programmer. As time went on, I added and subtracted a varying array of different childhood dreams as to what I wanted to do. Not really what I wanted to be when I grew up. I always viewed each of these as temporary. Like, I would design the great video game and then do something else. I never really thought of myself as having a permanent position, permanent job, permanent role in life. Sort of do now. I have a job after all. But, as time went on, my dreams started getting a little more focused. Um, I started wanting to focus more on figuring out how to program games. So I started taking more programming classes, learning more about programming during my off hours. Um, eventually went to college for computer science, and that's when I found out I don't like to program. Yeah. I actually start burning out very quickly when I start programming. It was to the point where some of my more major projects in college, I actually started burning out in the middle of a school project. That's not going to fly for a computer programmer of any variety of software whatsoever. You're going to need to focus on a project longer than three months. I knew this. Um, I generally figured this out about June, sophomore to junior year of college when I decided I should supplement my education with a math degree and go for my other dream career, which is teaching. I view myself as a very good teacher. I've tutored quite a bit. I have taught a couple of courses in computers. I've taught a course in mathematics way back when. I've assisted with lots of classes, including classes and subjects that I probably shouldn't be assisting in whatsoever felt nice. It felt right. The problem being is that I kind of need money. Teachers don't get paid enough inside of the United States, unfortunately, and 
well, yes, I could have pulled it off. I could have been a teacher. I wanted to go further in education. I liked academia. I wanted to not just be, like, for instance, a high school teacher or a middle school teacher. There's nothing wrong with being a high school teacher or a middle, teacher, middle school teacher. I'm preempting that now. It's more that I didn't want to do that. I more wanted to aim at, say, undergraduate for college. So I was looking at getting a master's degree, which costs money, lots of it. When I was applying for graduate schools, uh, at one point I was attempting to apply for a master's or P and or PhD program in computer science, as well that's what I'm primarily good with. I applied at 11 schools and was rejected by 10. I should have actually been rejected by 11, but they didn't quite pay attention to the line in my application that said, please reject me if you can't afford to pay me. Basically, I am lay poor. I would not be available or capable of affording my own education. I needed not only a tuition waiver, but also a stipend to be able to live off of. Maybe summer jobs can supplement that, but I couldn't really afford to have even more student loans. I'm still paying those off. There's a lot of them. Eventually, I came up with a different plan as to how to be able to pull this off rather than rely upon my computer science degree. I was going to rely upon my mathematics degree and get a master's in applied mathematics. It was around that time that I was, after applying, succeeding at the application, being offered a stipend, that was around the time that I started applying for work at my current position, which I was living in Indiana at the time. I would have needed to have moved to Ohio in order to go to school with one of my friends. Um, my The work option was going to Wisconsin to work there, and it was basically a matter of which furthers my dreams more. Having a master's degree now and being so ridiculously poor it would not be possible for me to actually accept a teaching job, or be able to make some money, try to invest in myself, invest in other things, make sure that I am not lay poor, that way sometime down the line I could retire into a teaching job. I chose the latter. I needed money. At that time, I was $52,000 in debt from student loans. That's quite a bit for only being in school for five years. Unfortunately, I went to a private school. That was the last of my dreams. I have actually not accomplished any of my childhood dreams. Yes, I'm stable. I have a nice job. I have more than enough money to be able to live off of. I mean, I'm buying a ridiculously huge house after all. But I didn't achieve my dreams. That's okay, I have other dreams too. Um, one of my dreams, in fact, is to continue that game design idea. Not necessarily video game, though. That's one of the reasons why I'm working on creating my own role-playing system. I'm not doing this for money, I'm not doing this for anything other than the fact that I want to. It's a hobby. Somewhat expensive one. Expensive in the time sense. Sorry, this is a bit more serious than normal. I was actually asking for suggestions, and all of the responses were rather serious. Maybe I'm starting a new thing. Serious Saturday! Yeah, probably not. I wish I could have showed kitties, but, well, they're kind of sleeping. I guess I could pick up the camera and show. Uh, it's gonna be horribly unstable, isn't it? Well... If you get seasick, just stop watching now. I'm still here. I'm just picking up my little rigging setup. I should probably take a picture of this rigging setup at some point. Wow, I've gone nearly 10 minutes already. Whew. Beware of mess in my crappy living room. Do you see them? It's kind of hard to see with the light. I can walk a little bit closer. Give me a moment. Pardon wall. Wall. Do, 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 do. See, I told you I have a decent number of board games. There's my kitties. Hi, Asun. Hi, Zone. At least I'm featuring kitties. I should feature kitties every episode. It is the internet, after all. We're pretty much made of cats. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will likely talk with you tomorrow. Enjoy.